your recurring dreams or your recurring ideas. Nimya are the type person. Keep on seeing. Some people see some movies, some people see some cricket matches, some people see some heroines. So I used to see this always this what are being made, private one rai, so many stores they have, you know, Mumbai, whatever you see. And it gives you some statistic or good pleasure also, seeing that dream every day, day in day out. So Mohan Saran say, okay, maybe uh, uh, you know, six years back we did it. So uh, when I was 35 plus 36 plus, uh, uh, sometimes the dream becomes so powerful on my chest. Although in eight years old, it becomes suffocation for me. So I had reached that stage. So most of the things was figured out in the mind. But on the real world, it was not figured out. And to a large extent, most of the things happened as per the mind and the thoughts, exactly. Even today I am shocked. Uh, you know, sometimes when you see, ki aisa socha tha, aisa baat dhas tha, they discuss kar rahe the, and exactly, na, we have large this and exactly. Yeah, mind is very powerful. Mind is very powerful. I think that for the entrepreneur, uh, seeing that uh, dream in the mind is very, very important. And because that is what gives you a clear cut path. Fir se fir se dekhte ho, fir se fir se clarity lao, fir se fir se time pass karte ho. You go to your movie, watch Amitabh Bachchan movie or Shah Rukh Khan movie, I mean, take a movie, take a movie, you get into your dream. I think that mind thing for an entrepreneur is very, very important. Seeing it very, very clearly. I think also you have these benchmarks, you know, like for example, uh, if you have, you know, certain practices or certain businesses are very successful in the Western world, in the developed world, it's not the Western world, in the developed world. Certain businesses have been extremely successful. But in India, these businesses don't exist. Or, you know, so if you have uh, something in mind which is, Maybe happening in the West that you have seen on the internet or you have seen abroad. It's a good idea to pursue a dream like that and keep that as a benchmark and do it in India. That's what we did. So this business was going in the West. You know, so we kept that as a benchmark and we serviced it in India from an Indian perspective with international standards. So it's just the way you, you know, and, and as he rightly said, you know, I was telling him this morning that uh, you know many of the times in the night I keep dreaming about certain things, you know, some ideas. An entrepreneur, you know, being a serial entrepreneur, you just keep thinking about something new. Like the latest thing that we started, is going to start uh, very soon, is uh, we're going to do sanitary napkin disposal. So, which means that we will have some, uh, bins in uh, in offices and in where, because we have this collection service for the toilets, right? So, the, the network and the route is already there, it's already laid out. So, we just have to go piggyback on that. So, the software companies, all people where lots of uh, girls work, they have a big problem disposing uh, sanitary napkins. And what we've done is that these small bins, again, it's a business part of the West, this bin which has got a biodegradable bag inside, this bin will be kept inside a toilet, of course not in all the toilets, in a few toilets is other thing, and with a sticker outside which says that it has a hygiene, sanitation bag, whatever inside. And uh, we did a pilot on this, extremely successful, and people are like, no, no, we want more. Now the thing is that, first we intended to manufacture it here, right now we can't meet the manufacturing store, we are getting it from China. But the requirement is so large, that you can put it in practically every office, but again, this is innovation, this is new. And you know how I thought about this idea? In my dream. I was dreaming, what can I do something different? Hey, why don't I do this? Girls, because in the office, you know, always have these girls going from one toilet to another and then going up and it's like, you know, we, and uh, recently my wife has started working with us, so she says, oh my God, toilet. So the whole thing is like playing in your mind, you know. And then the night, I just said, why not do this? Why not, you know. But then what I did was, when I dreamt about it, I had this small, like when I travel to all these places where we have offices, I stay in a ginger, we have a tie up with ginger, which is the cheapest. So, Ginger has these little writing pads you know, with a pencil. So, I always uh, dabble those from these places. And in the night, I keep it at my bedside. So, when I think of these things in the night, na, I wake up and I write them because I know for a, for a fact that in the morning I forget. <laughs> so, that day, you know, like I discovered, you know, I picked it up and I said, This is what we have to do. So, I got everybody down together. I said, Okay, you are doing this, you are doing, doing this. Get onto procurement, get onto the internet. I want to do fine. In three days, we had everything ready with us. Three days. Everything ready. And we are rolling out on the 15th of September. Everything was done in like like that because it was just there, you know, it was waiting to happen. And as we call it, we call it yoga. You know, for everything there is a there's a time. And that's it. It's to happen. I mean, nobody is doing it. Why is nobody doing it? Because you are meant to do it. So uh, you know, that's like really how, how it evolves. My question is also great. Uh, Lawyers who more of organized uh, China Pada uh, we definitely you must have some opposition from the unorganized sector, that is the conventional Bada Pal, the Sita Mumbai. So just want to know if this was the case to be, then how did you mitigate this? Uh, See, I will tell you, uh, if you look at how I used to think, Ek time me soap gar gar me bana raha hai. Ek time me biskut, kayani, bastani, individually piche bana